All right, this is a cool question on crickets. So we have information on the chirps per minute produced at different temperatures where T is the temperature, N is chirps per minute. We have <clears throat> two pieces of data, but we know or we're told that it's a linear relationship. And so our goal is to find um, uh, temperature as a function of number of chirps. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You could go outside and record chirps per minute and find the temperature. Super cool. Uh, okay, we are used to finding lines of the form y equals mx plus b when we have a linear relationship. But in this case, our main variable is going to be temperature. Uh, and our independent variable x is going to be now n. So basically, t has to equal to um, some slope, which we're going to find times n plus a y-intercept. So that will be our b. So we need to find both the slope and the y-intercept. So we, let's start with our data. We can find the slope. Slope is rise over rum, which is like the y over the x. But for us, um, that will be t over n. So our slope, and remember slope is rise uh, over run, which for us would be doing basically, whoops, t would go on top, so let's undo that. So we would have basically t2 minus t1 over n2 minus n1. All right, let's use our data. So that will give us uh, 80 minus 70 over 173 minus 113. And there are units, just so we're aware. So uh, the top is degrees F, and the bottom is in chirps per minute. Chirps per minute. All right, so those are uh, the units. Okay, so we can clean this up a little bit. Our slope then is equal to 10 uh, over 60, um, and that's in degrees F over, I'm gonna just put uh, CPM for chirps per minute. Uh, and we can reduce that all the way down to one six. So our slope is one six uh, degrees F, and over uh, chirps per minute. Okay, that's our slope. Um, so that's perfect. And that was uh, B. B needed, uh, or question B had to do with slope. So let's go ahead and write that down. The slope is 1 6 degrees F uh, per chirps per minute. Okay, so that is our slope. Uh, okay, but we want to come up with our equation, so let's keep going. So right now, so far, we have t equal to uh, 1 6 of n, and we still need to solve for our unknown b. This is still our unknown. So let's just use the top data point. We'll plug in and solve for b. Uh, in fact, if I solve for b, I could divide our, sorry, uh, Let's go ahead and uh, just substitute in first. Uh, there's more than one way to do it, but let's just substitute in. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take our first point and substitute in. So T is 113 and um, that's equal to 1 6 of N. Uh, oh, I plugged it in backwards. Let's fix that real quick. We don't wanna plug it in backwards. So T is 70, T is 70. And n is the 113 um, and plus b. So our goal is to solve for b. So we could subtract 113 over 6 from both sides, and that will give us b. So this is 70 minus 113 uh, over 6. So I'll read right on the right side b then. I do a common denominator. I can multiply 70 by six over six. So 420 uh, over six minus 113 over six. 
And let's see what we get um, by calculator. Um, so 420 minus 113. So if you leave it as a fraction, B is 307 over six. And if we go ahead and divide by six, uh, we'll get a decimal, basically 51.167, uh, if we round to three decimal places. Uh, okay, so that's our B. So our part A then, our T is equal to one sixth of N, and I'll go ahead and leave it in exact form, plus 307 over six. So that is our uh, temperature as a function of chirps per minute. All right, so A we uh, have done. B is already done because the slope is um, then um, equal to 1 6 degrees Fahrenheit per chirps per minute. So basically, um, uh, every time we get an increase of 6 chirps per minute, that's 1 uh, degree Fahrenheit increase in temperature. So pretty cool. Okay, now we want to use our relationship to basically approximate uh, what would the temperature be if we went outside, we recorded 150 chirps per minute, and basically figure out the temperature. Now we can look in our data to see it's going to be somewhere in between 70 and 80. So that's good as a kind of reality check. But let's go ahead and use our equation. We can go ahead and we'll say approximately, because we're only going to approximate, we're going to assume this is a, um, a good model, but not perfect. One sixth of 150 chirps per minute um, plus 307 um, over six. So if we go 307 plus 150 on top, um, then our final answer is. Uh, 457 um, over 6, and that is in degrees F. But we can go ahead and uh, divide by 6 just to get a rough idea. And yes, it's good. It fits within the between 70 and 80, as we expected. So 76.2 degrees F. Squish that in there. That is our, separate that. That is our uh, prediction for um, the temperature based on crickets chirping. So pretty cool. All right, hopefully that helped. Have an amazing day. See you next time.